we are back. Final hour of the show. It's been a good one. Mike Leach was with us earlier. A lot of conversation not only here but around the country about what happened yesterday. You may remember the legend called in criticizing the Alabama coaches and then the father of Alabama defensive coordinator Pete Golden, Skip Golden, the coach himself, called in and went after a legend and made national news. And legend is on the air. Good afternoon, legend. Good afternoon, Paul. Thanks for taking my call, brother. Appreciate it, man. Sure. Hey, before I get into Skip Golden, I'd like to touch on two other things right quick. That beat down you put on Jim today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you, Black Hat, brother. You represent the Black Hat Posse, Handsome Joe, DJ K. Dove, the legend, Paul Flambaum, the four horsemen, baby. I'm Woo! proud of you, dude. Woo! Give me a woo, Paul. Well, woo! I, Legend, you've been you've been there before. I really, I, I didn't I didn't even really feel good about it either. Uh, I just felt like it, it was an it was a necessity. Yeah, damn that two cent uh, paralegal in Louisiana ever get in trouble again. I want you in my corner as my lawyer. <laughs> 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 and the second thing, right quick, David Legend, the guy that called about the strip club. Yeah. That's my real brother. Is it really? I hadn't heard from him. Yeah, I hadn't heard from him in some time. That's a real legend brother right there, brother. You need to let him on the air. You, you see where I get my passion from. I lost his information, so the next time he calls back, please get your guy. You can really help the legend family out. I've been trying to get back in touch with my brother. Since my mama died, we kind of got separated, the whole family. So that'd be a real blessing if y'all would do that. Well, he, for me. Uh, that, you know, he said he was real. your brother, but uh, a lot of people claim to be your brother. So, uh, well, that's, uh, that's my real brother. Okay, right we there, will, man. we that, will effort that. We'll make, we'll make that happen. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Now let's get to uh, Skip Golden, and let me first say this to Skip Golden: I respect what you did yesterday. You got more beast than you than that no defensive coordinator son of yours. I appreciate what you did. I appreciate the fire. I tip my black hat to you. If I had a son, of course, he wouldn't be as bad as your son as a defensive <laughs> coordinator because I would have taught him differently. But if I had a son, I would have stood up for him also. So I respect it. I tip my hat to you. And I want to tell you, Skip Golden, I want to tell the national media and particularly the local media who try to put me in the same category as Harvey Updike. Legend is no damn Harvey Updike. Now, now Legend, hold on one second. I don't mean to interrupt. No, I, I didn't hear the local media today. Tell us more about that. Well, you know, it was on the radio, different callers calling in and uh, on three-man front, and they made it out like I was some kind of fool and idiot, you know, Did, you know, consider the source. This is what they say. Let me tell you something about the source. It's the fan. We pay the tickets. We buy the hats. We pay the $50 for parking. Hell, we can't even get gum, uh, go out and tailgate no more under $100 and get a lot. So don't tell me about the source, brothers. Don't tell me about the source. Whoa, don't tell me about the source. Because the source is the ears that are listening to your programs. The source is the fans that's buying the equipment, paying Nick Saban's salary. Don't tell me about the source anymore. That's who the damn source is. And then when it fair me to Harvey Updike, I ain't going to poison no tree. I ain't going to hurt nobody. I come on here and talk trash and have fun. That's East Coast, baby. But let me tell Skip Golden something. Let me tell you this, brother. You might be from South Florida, but I'm from Redneck Walker County. <laughs> if you can survive in Redneck Walker County, baby, you can survive anywhere. Your little threat to me didn't scare me. I didn't really consider it a threat. I considered it an honor that you came after me. So let's get that right. I admire what you did. But I will meet you somewhere, Skip Golden, under one condition. One condition. And that is if you bring that sorry-ass defensive coordinator's son along with you. Because I don't 
don't believe in whooping ass when it comes to the elderly, I wouldn't lay a hand on you, sir. I got all respect for you. But I'd whoop the hell out of your son for stealing from the University of Alabama for the last friggin' five years of his career. The only coach in the SEC that has stole more money from a university than Pete Golden is that con man Bobby Collins wannabe Jimbo Fisher and that gum Texas A&M Aggie land. You've been stealing from us. You ain't a defensive coordinator, and I just called you out on it. And I'm not the only one, Paul. I spoke to the godfather, Danny Sheridan, today. He sent me a little article. You know, he has like a thousand private customers around the country that he gives picks to every week. I probably shouldn't say that because he'll get millions of calls that are making mega money. That's why Danny's got that mansion down there in Mobile, and all he does all day is go to five-star restaurants. That's why that is. And you know what his article said? My number one pick, Texas plus 20 and a half. And this is why he said it. Pete Golden! <laughs> Pete friggin' Golden! I, that's what he said. He said that Alabama every game, and I challenge every Alabama fan out there to go and watch this for yourself. Alabama every game, the Texas game, the A&M game last year. The, the Texas A&M in Texas used six offensive linemen the whole game to block four Alabama defensive players. Will Anderson Jr. was double teamed the whole game. Dallas Turner was double teamed the whole game. Hell, they're exhausted by the fourth quarter because they've been double teamed the whole friggin' game. I went back and watched both games, and on every friggin' play except for five blitzes in two games, four defensive linemen was blocked by six offensive linemen. And you want to tell me this idiot is a good defensive coordinator? No disrespect to you, Skip. I appreciate you. Stay Standing up, showing some beast in you, some fire. But get it in your damn son, because he's got none. And I'm tired of watching Alabama every friggin' week lose simply because he didn't evidently listen on your 50 years of coaching. I, and I will tell you something else, Skip. And you take this to the bank, brother. You take this right here to the bank. Legend friggin' loves Alabama football. I friggin' love Alabama football, brother. I hope I'm wrong and we don't give up a friggin' point the rest of the year. I've gotten over 100 hate messages a day. I've gotten over 10 death threats because of this situation today. And I tell you, I don't care. I'm a fan having fun. I'm not trying to take uh, advantage of sign bomb. I don't want no TV show no more. Them people are crazy. I don't want a radio show no more. Radio folks are crazy. I'm just a caller and a fan having friggin' fun. But if you want to put hands on me, I'm Walker County, baby. I'm Harlan County. They call me Boy Crowder down there. You don't want to mess with this one. I can promise you that right there. Now, Paul, I've said what I've had to say, and I'll say this right here. This show is friggin' marvelous. Elvis has left the building. <laughs>